In this video, we're going to learn how to sort the numbers in a file using Python. So if we have a file like this, where each line of the file contains a number, what we want our program to do is sort the numbers in this file. The way our program is going to work is that we'll first read in the lines of the file into a list. Then we'll sort the list. Then we'll write the list back to the file. So the first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the file name. So I'll have here file name is equal to, and we'll call the input function, and we'll pass it the string file name colon. This will prompt the user with the text file name colon, and the file name the user enters is going to be returned as a string, which we'll store into the file name variable. Next, we'll open the file and read each line of the file into a list. So we'll have with, and then open file name as file. So this will open the file with the supplied file name for reading and file is going to be an object which allows us to access the file in this code block here. And all we'll do is read the lines in the file. We'll use the read lines method of the file object and the read lines method is going to return a list where each item of the list is a line in the file. We'll store those into a variable called lines. So we'll have lines is equal to the return value of calling file.readLines. Then after this, we'll output lines using print lines. Now, if we save the program and try it out, we'll see that we now have a list of the lines in the file. So we'll enter the grades.txt file name, and then we'll see the list lines contains each line in the file as a string, including the new line character that ends each line in the file and begins the next line in the file. So the next thing we'll do is convert these strings to floating point numbers. We'll use a list comprehension to do this. We'll have here numbers is equal to, and we'll have a list comprehension with float x for x in lines. So this list comprehension is going to give us back a new list, which we'll assign to numbers. And what we're doing is for every item x in lines, we're going to convert that item x to a floating point number by using float x, where float x is going to take in the string and return the floating point number. So now if we output numbers here with print numbers and we save the program and try it out and enter in grades.txt, we'll see we now have a list of floating point numbers. And now we can easily use the list sort method to sort this list. So here, if we have numbers.sort, this will sort the list of numbers in ascending order. If we save the program and try it out and enter in grades.txt, we now see the numbers list is sorted in ascending order. Now to write these numbers back to the file, we'll put each item in the list back to the same format it was before. So we'll have the number in a string followed by the new line character. And again, we'll use a list comprehension to achieve this. So now we'll have new underscore lines is equal to the list comprehension where we have str when it's past x concatenated with the new line character for each x in numbers. So for each item x in the numbers list, we're going to take that number and convert it to a string using str. Then we'll concatenate the new line character. And again, this list comprehension is going to return a new list, which we'll store into new lines. Now we could output new lines with print and we'll have new lines here. And if we save the program and try it out and enter in grades.txt, we'll now get the sorted list with the items in a format that is ready to be written to the file. And that's the last thing we'll do. So this time we'll have with open file name with the second argument, the string w as file. So this time we're opening the file for writing. That's what the second string w argument does. It opens the file for writing. And again, we'll use the file object to access the file. This time we'll use the write lines method of the file object to write the list items to the file. So we'll have file.writeLines 
and we'll pass it our list new lines. That's going to write each item in that list to the file. So now if we save the program and try it out and enter in grades.txt, then if we check out the grades.txt file, we'll see the numbers in the file have been sorted in an ascending order. Now we could also sort the numbers in the file in a descending order. All we would have to do is supply the keyword argument reverse is equal to true to the sort method of the numbers list. Then if we save the program and try it out and enter in grades.txt, this time the file is going to be sorted in descending order. So this is how we can sort the numbers in a file using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.